So we got the story about the helicopter that crashed in Mexico as they were flying over the earthquake area trying to assess the damage. And I'm just thinking about what's going on in the media. Lately, we had that story about the helicopter crashing in the Grand Canyon. And right around that same time, we got the story of a Russian airplane crashing. And then we got a story of an Iran earthquake along with an Iran plane crash. And it just makes me wonder because back in 2015, we got the German wings flight story about the pilot who purposely crashed the airplane, right? His name was Andreas Lubitz. And all of the media, they showed this picture of him, this picture of him sitting at the Golden Gate Bridge, and his name is Andreas Lubitz, right? Think about the Golden Gate Bridge in regards to the San Andreas Fault and whatever else. And then think about, you know, earthquakes, right? We've been talking about a lot about earthquakes and what's going on. You know, possibly it's not connected, but there seems to be a pattern with these helicopter crashes, airplane crashes, synced up to earthquakes, and it just reminds me a lot of that story. Andreas Lubitz, the Golden Gate Bridge. And lately, we've had a whole lot of stuff in regards to earthquakes that was connected to Mexico. And, you know, we've had lots of earthquakes in Mexico, it seems. And even the one in Mexico City, the first one since 1985. Remember, 58 and 85 are big numbers that I talked about in regards to earthquakes. They're seemingly really important numbers. That Mexico City earthquake happened 585 days after Pope Francis visited Mexico City. And the study of earthquakes goes back to the year 585 BC by a guy named Thals of Miletus, sort of, let's see. Thals of Miletus, however you pronounce it. His name equals 85 in Gematria. And, you know, Richter scale equals the reflection, 58. Seismograph equals 58. The last biggest East Coast earthquake east of the Rockies in the United States was a 5.8 in Mineral, Virginia. The one before that was a 5.8 in Cornwall, Messina in the year 1944. And the one before that was 58 years and five days before in Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina, just the seemingly important numbers, 58 and 85. And 585 is, the, you know, 58 and 85 even put together. And think about the connections with Pope Francis in regards to the Golden Gate Bridge. Pope Francis, named after St. Francis of Assisi, who San Francisco is also named after, where the Golden Gate Bridge is from. San Francisco equals 122. Pope Francis equals 122. They have a lot of interrelated connections. So I was just thinking about it, you know? These crashes, and then we got this story with this guy, and they show the Golden Gate Bridge. Lots of stuff seemingly connected to earthquakes. And the other night, I was pointing out how we just got another St. Valentine's Day massacre, the first one since the year 1929, and the stock market crash happened in 1929, which has been synced up to a whole bunch of stuff that's going on this year. And I went back and I looked up a bunch of stuff about the year 1929 for some clues, and what I noticed was that in 1929 in Mexico, they had this Cristero War. And basically what the whole war was about was that they didn't want the Catholic they didn't want Catholic rule in Mexico, right? So they didn't want the Catholics ruling in Mexico. That's what this whole war was about. They came to an end in nineteen twenty nine, which has seemingly been a significant year this year. And think about that in regards to all these earthquakes coming you know, synced up to Pope Francis's visit to Mexico City. Charles Francis Richter even died at the age of 85 in 1985, the same year. I should see when his 
I bet his birthday is synced up to that Mexico City, or, or his death day is synced up to that Mexico City earthquake, thinking about it. But just in regards to this, think about it. Pope Francis synced up to these. Then in 1929, we had the Cristero War that was synced up to the Catholic stuff. And also in 1929, that was the year that Vatican City became sovereign. It became a sovereign state in 1929 on 211. So interesting, you know, that there would be this war and then Vatican City becomes its own city or its own sovereign state that same year. In Gematria, Cristero equals the same as Earthquake. And the president or the governor or whatever it was at the time that didn't want the Catholic rule, his name equals 923 in English Extended, I thought was interesting because it's not very often you run across the 923 in any form of Gematria. And that's really significant to Pope Francis who visited the United States on his 923rd day as being the Pope. And he went to the White House at 923 in the morning. On September 23rd, 923, a bunch of other stuff that goes along with it. But a big number that's connected to Pope Francis. It also equals 220 in Gematria, this guy's name. And 220 is a number, if you've been following me, I've talked about it is connected to Pope Francis and the Jesuits. Donald John Trump equals 220. Donald Trump went to a Jesuit university. You know, his birthday is 187 days before Pope Francis's birthday. Pope Francis, or the Society of Jesus equals 187 in Gematria. Donald Trump's national convention was on 18 slash 7, and then he became the president 187 days later. Bunch of stuff synced up to the Jesuits, which are the Society of Jesus. But anyway, Donald John Trump equals 220. Pope Francis turned 81 years old this year, two months and 20 days after the Jesuit anniversary. And that's interesting because the Pope who founded the Jesuits was the 220th Pope, and he died at the age of 81. And the Pope in 1929, Pope Pius, I don't remember what number it was, but it was Pope Pius. He was the Pope in 1929 when the Vatican City became a sovereign state, right? And he also died at the age of 81. And 81 is significant to bridge collapses. Golden Gate Bridge equals 81 in the frontwards and reverse of Gematria. And in 2018, it will be 81 years old. And we just had the Super Bowl in Minneapolis reminding us of the bridge collapse in 2007. They collapsed on August 1st, 8 slash 1, and it fell 81 feet. You know, lots of stuff with 81 and bridge collapses. Somebody pointed out to me that the word pontiff even means bridge builder. Think about that in regards to the Pope. So, all these connections to 81, it's seemingly pointing, you know, plain stories along with earthquakes. It reminds me of that Andreas Lovett story. Also interesting, you know, Christopher Columbus's name is also Cristobal Cologne that equals 220. And he died 220 days after the date that he supposedly discovered America on. And the 220th Pope, he founded the Jesuits, but he also fully excommunicated Henry VIII, who wanted a divorce from Catherine of Aragon, who was the daughter of of Isabella I who financed Christopher Columbus. Hopefully that makes sense. Christopher Columbus's financers, their daughter was the one who King Henry VIII wanted to get a divorce from. And Christopher Columbus has these connections of 220. London, England even equals 220 in Gematria. So I believe P Prince Charles even equals 220 in Gematria. Who knows? Maybe there's maybe there's something something coming up for February 20th, the 51st day of the year, which would make sense because Donald Trump, if you recall, before he won the election, he was in Iowa and he was on a helicopter ride and he told the boy that he was Batman, right? And in Gematria, Batman equals 51. 
220, the 51st day of the year. And we got all them Batman stories right around that same time. The guy who dressed up like Batman went to hospitals and whatnot. He died. We got the death of Batgirl <laughs> that same weekend. We got the death of Morgan Freeman's granddaughter, and they shut her at the Batman premiere with him. And then we also got James Holmes, the Batman shooter. He was sentenced just a week after that or whatever. So there's definitely something going on with Batman. Also, the word helicopter equals 51. That's why it was so significant, too. I remember doing a video about the number 51 a long time ago, too. They were, Donald Trump was, can't even remember now. Donald Trump's birthday was is 51 days before Obama's birthday, and he's 15 years older than him or something like that. And Pope Francis turned 15 years old in the year 1951. There was all kinds of stuff with it. Queen Elizabeth synced up to Queen Victoria somehow with the number 51. So, I don't know. Just pointing that out, I guess. Helicopter equals 51. Just, you know, there was a lot of 51 and 15 in connection to a lot of prominent people in the media at the time. And a lot of stuff, it's seemingly pointing to a lot of stuff that I was talking about 2015 just keeps coming up in these stories. 2015, really, really important. You know, I, I just wonder. I, I wonder if some... We're going to get some weird story of Obama actually being assassinated. That was one of the big things I was talking about in 2015. Lots of stuff seemingly was pointing to Obama being assassinated. And on the TV show 24, the one with Kiefer Sutherland, whose name equals 923 in English Extended or whatever, on that show, either on the remake or on the old one, I can't remember which it is, the first black president gets assassinated after. He leaves the office, so who knows, you know? Just there's lots of stuff that's been seemingly pointing to what I was talking about 2015. We keep getting all these earthquake stories. Just makes me wonder what's going on. So just wanted to present some information, some thoughts. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it is connected to, to this. But we just keep getting these stories with helicopter crashes, airplane crashes. They're seemingly always next to earthquakes and whatever else. And it just reminds me of this story. that I know somebody pointed this out in one of my comments, too. Maybe that's why I was even thinking about it. So thank you if, to whoever pointed that out. Maybe that's the reason I even thought of it. But we'll leave it there. Have a good one. Peace.